Welcome back, everybody. We're vegging out on today's show, showing you some different fun things and cool ways to prepare veggies. I think they can all get a little boring once in a while. We all know we're supposed to eat more of them. So how do you do that? You got to make veggies more fun. And Lindsay Brooks from Runaway Spoon is here to show us how. Good to see you. Yeah, you too, Amy. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to admit, not a huge fan of broccoli. I'm just not. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. The hubby loves it. Bob okay. loves broccoli. Okay. I do like cauliflower. I just, I, I, and I don't mind it raw. Um, when you cook it though, I just think, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we're going to roast it. Okay. So roasting is just a kind of a totally different way to prepare it to begin with, and you kind of caramelize those natural sugars. So maybe you'll have a little new love for the broccoli. I, well, I know I love a cheese sauce. So uh, uh, yeah, exactly. We go. We're, we're going to put cheese on it. I mean, we're in Wisconsin. What can we do here? <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. So first of all, let's. Uh, should we get the cheese sauce going and then go back to the... Yeah, okay, yeah, because okay. the cheese sauce will take a little bit longer here. So okay. we got a couple of tablespoons of butter that need to go into a saute pan or okay. saucepan. Okay. And then I like to work with shallots for this recipe. Shallots is kind of a mix between an onion and garlic. Uh, yeah. It's a little milder in flavor. I think people are a little nervous about them or they don't even know what they are, but they're, you're going to find them right near the onions and the garlic family. They're yep. cheap. They're El Cheapo. It's not like you have to go to a gourmet food store to get them. And you just cut them up like you would an onion. Yep, but they're a lot milder, but they have a little bit of a garlic kind of flavor to them as okay. well. Okay, so give so, them a try. Yep, if you don't have it, go ahead with a, just an onion is fine. But I kind of like this shallot flavor mixed in with the butter, mm. which is one Sounds of my favorite mixtures. If now, you're... I have to be honest uh, because that's how we roll around here. So we had a, a regular stainless pan out, and Ann eyed it up and said, uh, wouldn't you rather use a nonstick pan? And let me tell you, for homemade cheese sauces, that was a, that was a good call. Cleaning up is yeah, so much better, yeah, yeah, um, so. for sure. And so. then you don't lose so much of it in the pan as true, well. True, true. So good tip there, Ann. All right. So. A couple of good tablespoons of butter and shallots, and we're going to saute that up. Okay. Now, meanwhile, what I did before, um, before we got on here is we took broccoli and cauliflower ahead of each, cut them up, put them in a roasting pan. Like a, just a, a big baking sheet type yes, of thing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you want them nice and... Uh, layered out so not too too tall okay drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil okay. hit them with a good amount of salt and pepper oven temperature 500 degrees so 500 that's, yeah. is, is is what it is and that's and that's key because um, when you're roasting veggies you don't want them to hang out and do their slow thing you want them to you know uh, we want them to be nice and crunchy on yeah. the inside but have some color on the outside right. and so. that high heat you know you probably maybe never used 500 on your oven don't be afraid of it uh, mm -hmm. or at least go 475 you were a little scared <laughs> of the five but yeah. it makes all the difference in the world um, because it really sears it almost like you would a steak you know yeah, so. it's going to be that brown color and that mm -hmm. brown is where mm -hmm. that flavor actually mm -hmm. comes from so 500 degrees pop them in there and it's only about 15 minutes you want them to get kind of nice and toasty brown on the top um, and then you can pull them out and finish up the cheese sauce and serve it all together but you definitely want to make sure that you get it at 500 degrees like i said about 15 minutes so we've got ours just about coming out here so you can see You've got some really nice color on them. You can also see the salt and pepper on it. And I just mix the two of them together. Now, okay. If you uh, wanted to make just cauliflower, you could do it that way, or just broccoli, you could do it that way. But um, for me, um, at the market, you can get both of them. So that works. I love it. I love it. I'm all I'm excited about that, actually. Okay, so at home, you're going to let this. Our burner is taking its good old time here. So, As always. But uh, saute up the onion and the shallot just for a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to add Dijon mustard. Okay. Um, two tablespoons of a Dijon mustard. So a mustard. good amount. Yes. This is kind of a, a British uh, secret ingredient here is uh, Dijon mustard or stone ground mustard as well um, is in kind of quite a bit of cheese sauces. I know a lot. We put sometimes we'll do like dry mustard, a little hint, but this is going to have some nice mustard flavor, I think. It does. And I like the Dijon. It's a little bit stronger in flavor. Um, you could use a stone ground mustard if you're uh, wanting to be a little bit milder in flavor. Okay. And then uh, heavy cream is going to go in Ooh. there too. I did not see, correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't see any flour. No. Nope. Okay. Heavy cream and then lots of cheese is the last ingredient. It's going to make it uh, kind of all thicken up together. Yum. So we want to bring that up to kind of a simmer. You don't need to boil it, but you want to get it nice and hot. Okay. And I'm going to do a pinch of salt and pepper for you, Amy. Mm, this smells amazing, just as is. Now I'm looking, I'm eyeing up the cheese because that does not look like the kind in a bag that's already shredded. <laughs> Um, so um, this is a seven-year white cheddar cheese, mm. uh, which is one of our favorites to keep in the kitchen. If you don't like sharp cheese, you could go down to a mild cheddar or like a one- or two-year cheddar, but we've got a seven-year, so it's nice and rich and tart, Ooh. which balances out with that Dijon mustard that you have in here. And you don't need a whole ton of it, it doesn't look couple, like. A couple ounces. Okay, so that's you kind of hand-chiseled that to do that. Yeah, exactly. The older the cheese is, the more crumbly it is, so I just kind of whacked that a little bit. Um, I'm going to add that in there, and you're pretty much making kind of like a cheese fondue mm. to go over it. So. Now, i got a question. If you couldn't find like a seven, you know, that might be a little bit hard to, mm -hmm. uh, to find a white cheddar. 
Um, what about, uh, I was thinking like a, a Bellavitano, like a Parmesan, something like that? Yeah, Asiago or Asiago? Parmesan okay. would be good. Okay. Um, and you know, if you're making it for some kind of fussier kids, just straight up mozzarella would be okay in there okay. too. Okay. I like the sharper cheese that balances out yeah. with the Dijon. So yeah. if you have, um, you have anything of those hard cheeses in your fridge, this is a, a good recipe to use it up on. Oh my gosh, it smells yeah. unbelievable. This would be great over any veggies. Yeah, yeah, you know, this cheese sauce in general you could really put on anything. Um, if you had asparagus or um, zucchini, anything like that too. Wow, um, wow. But, you know, broccoli and, and cauliflower kind of get a bad rap. Some people don't yeah. really like it and they yeah. don't really know what to do with it. Yeah. And I, I think it can have a little more love brought to it. I think, I think I'm falling in love. I can't <laughs> wait to try it. Roast some vegetables. And while I'm waiting for the cheese to melt here, let's talk a little bit about something fun that you're doing on Wednesday nights. A lot of people think, I can't afford a private chef and I certainly can't afford a caterer, but they want to have a nice meal at home, um, a kind of a more upscale meal. Tell us about this new, neat new thing you're doing. It. Yeah, so it's something we call uh, featured meals. And what it came out to be was, again, people wanted to be able to have good food in their house from Runaway Spoon, but not hire us to cater a full meal for just two or for four people. So what we do is uh, once a week, we send out an email that says we're gonna make these two things, send it out to people. People will be able to write in. We package it up in an oven safe container for two adults. We deliver it to your doorstep on Wednesdays with heating instructions attached. So oh, cool. it works out great for a date night, to, you know, put the kids early to bed and then you have good food. Or, you know, we have some people that are just constantly running around and they're not home enough. And you can take this, take out a portion, heat it up and, and you have yourself some really good food made from scratch, all fresh ingredients. Um, and most of them are local too. So. And the menu changes seasonally, of course, it changes up. There's a couple, t two options every week? Two options every week and a dessert every week. And we get people that want it every single week, and we get people that say, yeah, once or twice a month is good with me. Or so. maybe just try it for the first time. Yeah. Uh, how can people get this email um, and, yeah, Yeah, the best more. way to do is um, go to our website, and then you can uh, fill up the form on there that sends me an email, and then I'll send you more details about it. Um, the email, our website is runspoon.com. Run spoon.com yep. all one word r-u-n-s-p-o-o-n.com yep right. and then just send me a little email that said hey i heard about these meals i want to know more and right. I'll, I'll get you hooked up i love it okay the cheese sauce is doing its thing Should oh we drizzle perfect it over yep the so be careful this is a little warm yet you want to drizzle the hot sauce oh, over oh. and it's one of those delightful things that you want to enjoy right away it does look delightful. Can't wait for it to cool down, and I'm going to dive in. Perfect with the grilled chicken or whatever you're grilling on the grill this exactly. summer. Great steak, whatever. Skip the starch and just do a little protein in with your vegetables. Love it. Thanks so much. <laughs> Lindsay's going to stick around. I promised you a great carrot cake recipe. Um, she's going to deliver on that. Also coming up, a white bean dip, a rosemary white bean dip, a recipe of mine that is healthy but delicious, and a great big tuna salad packed with veggies. So lots more recipes still to come. Stay with us.